Hey everyone, it's me, Eden. So welcome back to the vlogs. I know it's been a while. I actually just moved, so it's been kind of crazy moving in and everything. That is Cade. <laughs> um, so I've been moving and it's been kind of crazy. We didn't have my vlog camera with me, which is probably the first thing I should address. I'm filming this on my Canon DSLR because I don't have my vlog camera with me. So We'll see how this goes, but bear with me. They're having us walk around a little bit before the event just to say hi to all the kids and stuff, and I'm really excited. So I wanna show you guys some of the things that we're bringing with us to the event. <laughs> that is my son. Hello. <laughs> um, this is actually an Easter basket that we used in a parade ages ago. And um, we're going to be taking it with us to carry our flyers and also eight pounds of Smarties. We bought these bulk Smarties and we're going to put them in this. And then also, also we have another basket with our flyers in it um, that I think we're going to carry. And it's going to be great. Yeah, I didn't like realize, I guess in my head, eight pounds, of, I guess in my head, eight pounds of Smarties looked like more but you know still a lot of candy and I'm sure the kids will appreciate it so today it's going to be me and Ariel going to the event and I'm really excited about that um I love working with Lita she's pretty much amazing and I just really enjoy her portrayal of Ariel it's really good I do have one funny story from the Barnes & Noble event that I want to tell you guys about. So the little boy that was in love with Ariel has been coming to our events really regularly and we love seeing him. And he, I think, is going to be at the event today too, actually. But um, he came to Barnes & Noble and he was dressed like a pirate and it was so cute. And I guess he dressed like a pirate because Ariel always calls him a little pirate and so he dressed up like that and he came up to me and I was like, oh, Ariel told me to say hi to you. She couldn't be here today because um, this morning Prince Eric surprised her with a beachside picnic and because he only asked her this morning, she couldn't come this afternoon, but she wanted me to say hi to you. And as soon as the name Prince Eric left my lips, his face goes from <laughs> Like his whole face dropped. He's just not a fan of Prince Eric at all. Um, and it just made me laugh so much. He's so cute. And um, I just think it's so precious. Okay. <laughs> so I have my makeup on now. I'm curious how other princesses do their makeup because in this new, this new place, I legit have just put one of my kitchen chairs in the bathroom. <laughs> because I want something to sit on because the counter's like really wide and so it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. So I thought that was pretty funny, but yeah, let me know, other princesses, what you do to put on your large amounts of makeup. <laughs> also guys, I started using these uh, fake eyelashes because I wanted to, you know, like look more princessy and try them out. And wow, there is a learning curve. <laughs> It is also very hot outside. It actually has been for like a week or the last couple of days. And I know this is like an evening event, but just based on how hot it is and the forecast and everything, it's going to be real hot. So all this lovely makeup is just going to come straight off my face, even with setting spray. But you know, that's why we got like handkerchiefs and hand fans and water. So like, it'll be fine, but it, it's going to come off. Guaranteed, it's going to come off. Hey kid, how much of mommy's makeup is gonna come off? How much? Lots? Yeah, lots. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I am in a totally different location. I've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on the event last night. It actually went really well. It was so much fun. There were probably about 50 kids, I would say, and um, they were all wonderful. There was one little girl that just periodically kept coming up to me during the event, asking me questions about my story and things like that, 
And um, it was really sweet, and I really enjoyed talking to her. And I actually really appreciate kids like that because I feel like they keep me on my game. They, like, hold me accountable to knowing my every little bit of my story and everything. So I actually really appreciate talking to kids like that. Um, and <laughs> we actually had one kid kind of body shame me a little bit, which was weird. Um, so this little girl came up to me and she was like, Belle, you were skinnier in your movie, which, thanks. Um, <laughs> and, um, I basically told her, oh, well, it's a cartoon, so they're drawings and they look a certain way. And she looks over at my aerial at lead and goes, well, she looks like her cartoon. And I basically just told her, you know, princesses come in lots of different shapes and sizes, and what really matters is that you're kind-hearted, and I guess that answer was good, because she left after that, but, um, yeah, kids are brutal. <laughs> but, I mean, you just kind of let it roll off your back, because, I mean, I'm bringing magic to these kids, and I really enjoy what I do. And I know she didn't mean it maliciously, she was like four or five, so it's whatever. But they're brutally honest, like, if they see something like that, they're calling you out on it. <laughs> Besides, I really do pride myself on casting people of different shapes and sizes and stuff, and so I think it's important for kids to see that, so that they know there isn't just one kind of beautiful, you know? Also, the little boy who's in love with our Ariel was, like, one of the first kids at this event, which was not surprising, and we love seeing him, and as soon as he saw Ariel, he got so excited. He was basically all over her all night, and, um, he made it very clear. He was like, I have to tell you something, and she's like, all right, and he goes, I don't like Prince Eric. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It was very funny. And so um, he made it very clear that whenever Ariel visits him at his house for like a party or whatever, uh, Prince Eric is not invited. So um, it was just really funny. Um, I love that kid so much. And he was like showing off with, with all the little games and stuff that were around. He's trying to impress Ariel and whatnot. And so it was, it was really, really cute. Plus he gives really nice hugs. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> but um yeah, it was really, it was really fun. I actually thought it was going to be a lot hotter than it ended up being, and we were in the shade. They gave us a table and chairs. It was so nice of the organizers, and, um, yeah, and because I wasn't planning on wearing my gloves because it was going to be so hot, I actually, like, painted my nails, and, um, I think that went over pretty well, and it was fine. I really do prefer wearing gloves as Belle because I think it finishes the look, but because I was expecting it to be really hot, I just kind of was going to go without them this time. And um, I think I was more comfortable that way anyway. And um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. And we just met a lot of really, really sweet kids that came up and they were so excited. There was this group of like five or six little girls that were all in princess dresses, different princesses. And they were so adorable. There was like a Cinderella and an Ariel and like... Oh my gosh, they just like melted my heart. They were so excited to see us and they kept visiting us throughout the entirety of the event and it was just adorable and I loved it so much. <laughs> Something else that was kind of funny that happened after I got back home to the new apartment was um, my roommate Gabby actually tried on my hoop skirt for the first time and I think she just had a blast with that. Anyone who wears hoop skirts or sees them knows they can be kind of fun. They're weird but they're really fun to wear so she had a heck of a time trying that on. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get more footage from the actual event or of Lita. We just were in a mad rush to get there. I got some like mad princess shoe blisters too from that event. It was kind of nuts. Also, I thought I should give you guys the lowdown on uh, the Barnes & Noble event that I didn't record um, from last weekend, I guess it was. Um, we went from like five, six, seven kids pretty much since we started this event to 61 kids showing up <laughs> and 39 adults. <laughs> It was seriously nuts, and it was really successful. I have never felt more like a theme park character performer in my whole life. They literally made a line, and one at a time came up, took a picture, had a short conversation, and left. And then the next kid, it was crazy. I had so much fun, but it was nuts to see 61 kids, every single one of them dressed up, like a princess or some other character like that. And it was 
so heartwarming that all of the hard work that the company's been putting into getting people to know about us is finally paying off and I'm so excited to see the company grow and see our events be more successful. I It was just such a promising experience. It's going to be amazing and I intend to keep working really hard to keep this momentum going. But yeah, 61 kids. It was absolutely nuts and it was amazing. I'm I'm so grateful for this experience and this community. We got home from that event and I was so dead tired. My mom's like, yeah, you basically just did a party with 61 kids. And I was like, that's a nightmare sentence right there. A party with 61 kids. Like we've had some large scale parties, but 61? No, thank you. <laughs> um, that's nuts. Especially since there were only two princesses, two princesses, 61 kids would not that I can't even wrap my head around that. There would have to be so many assistants. It would kind of be nuts. We have been so fortunate lately because our business is really picking up. We're getting invited to more events and there's more foot traffic on our company pages and everything. And I just couldn't be more grateful. And I really, I think all the work that my princesses have put in have really started to pay off. And I'm just really proud of this company and where it's going now. And just to make it better, we suddenly have all of these guys interested in being princes. So we're going to get some more guys in the company and I can't wait for that. Um, it's so nice to have princes. They help you off the floor. They help carry some stuff. It's just, it's really helpful and very nice. And plus the public likes seeing the princes. They're cool to see too. So I'm really excited to have them. So hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. If there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you next time. We have lots of really fun events coming up and I will be sure to get more of the characters and actresses actually in the video. So thank you so much for coming along with me and I will see you next time. Bye.